This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today we're talking about weapons and stamina. Let's get to it. So in a recent video I did talking about weapons and their DPS, many of you stated that you were more interested in the amount of stamina that was used per weapon because that matters more than the DPS. If you haven't seen the video talking about weapons and DPS, it is in my Valheim guides playlist. I'll put a link for that down in the description. And all of those who commented about weapons and stamina had a very good point. Stamina is a very big deal when it comes to how much damage you can put out with a weapon. So I went through and tested all the weapons to see what the best weapon is versus the amount of stamina used and that is bows at level 100 skill. It's basically a one shot click and you use pretty much no stamina at all. All right well that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, no I'm just joking. I'm joking. There's a lot more to it. However yes this is this is the best but most people aren't going to hit level 100 skill or skill level 100 how, however you want to go. English. English is a good thing. Uh, I don't know it very well, but however you want to go about saying that, most people aren't going to hit that. But if you do, you can see here, I can just spam shots because it's literally a single click because bows change how much stamina they draw depending on how long it takes you to draw. And when you are at level 100 in bows, you have no draw time. You instant draw. So let's start talking about all of the other weapons because there's a bunch to unpack here. So to do this, I had to test a bunch of different things. First off, I tested to see if there was a different difference of stamina usage between levels. So I had to make sure that, for example, maces here, if I was at level zero in maces, the stamina was the same as if I was at level 100. It is. It doesn't matter what level you are. It does not affect your stamina at all. The next thing I wanted to test is to see if there was a difference between similar type weapons. So for example, Frostner is a mace. It does blunt damage. And so is the Iron Mace. It's a mace. They're both maces. There's no difference in the stamina used between these. So a Frostner uses the same amount of stamina as an Iron Mace. If I swing here, you can see how much it uses. If we go to the Iron Mace and I swing that, you can see it uses the same amount. And it's the same situation with the different variations of just the plain mace. So a copper mace uses the same amount of stamina as an iron mace. The next thing I had to test is to see if there was any difference in stamina usage between a level one iron mace and a maxed out level iron mace. There is no difference in that either. And last but not least, I had to test their combos. So I wanted to make sure that with all the other variables that we have, none of those affect the combo either. So I took the iron mace and I went through and I tested it. I did a full combo took a screenshot and that's how I tested all this. I screenshotted it and then did a bunch of Photoshop shenanigans to line them all up to see how much was used and the combos don't make a difference. The combo that you use or the amount of stamina you use in a combo with the Iron Mace is the same amount that you're going to use whether the Iron Mace is level one, maxed out level, or you are level zero or maxed out level. And it's the same whether it's Frostner or whatever mace. So you can see here, we use Frostner, it takes us down to there. We let that regen and we use the Iron Mace and it's the exact same. So after knowing that, it was pretty simple to do. I did a few different tests here. First off, I went through with each of the weapons. So I have a bunch of them up here and we'll talk about, we'll talk about uh, this bad boy, this bad boy and the bows a little bit more here in a second. So I went through all these, the, the pole arm, the ax, spear, mace, sword and dagger. And I did just a, a single strike. So I just want single strike and then immediately took a screenshot. And then I went through and did a combo. So I did one, two, three, and then took a screenshot. I did that with all of them. And then I stacked them on top of each other in order to see the amount of stamina used. So what you're looking at now is one swing of each of those weapons. So they're labeled down the side there and they're also labeled up top following the lines of where they're at so that you can see the stages of how much stamina is used per each one. And they're stacked so that from the bottom up. So daggers are the least amount followed by axes and swords. Surprisingly enough, use the exact same amount, then a spear, then the pole arm, then the mace, battle axe, and hammer. So if you 
want to get the most amount of use out of your stamina. A dagger is your best bet, followed by the axe and the sword and the spear. And then from there on, they start to use a lot more stamina. Now, I did the same thing with the combo, but I left out the hammer. And the reason I left out the hammer and I left the bow out from all these. We'll talk about the bow separately a little more here in a minute. But the reason I left the hammer out from the combo is because if you take a look at the hammer, if we try to do three with it, you can see it regens stamina before you can do the third hit. So it doesn't actually have a combo. Unlike the spear, which doesn't have a combo, I can do three rapid succession hits without any stamina regening there in the middle of it. The problem with the hammer is it's so slow that stamina regens in the middle of your swings. So even if you're spamming the mouse button, it doesn't matter, you get a little bit of stamina regen there and it also uses a ridiculous amount of stamina even it, with it regening a little bit in between so I didn't feel that it was fair to compare it to all of the others because it does regen a little bit there in between but if you want to see what it looks like here's a screenshot I took a screenshot of just spamming the crap out of the mouse button and that's what it is but that's not an accurate representation because of the stamina regen in between but that's as fast as I can click and how much stamina you would use so what you're seeing on the screen now is the stamina use for a combo. So you can see that it's pretty much the same situation as with the single strike. So you have the daggers using the least amount, followed by the sword and the axe, followed by the spear, then the pole arm, then the mace, then the battle axe. So let's talk about bows now. So bows are a special case because of the fact that the higher skill level you are, the less stamina you use because you draw faster. No other weapon is like this. They are the only ones. So I did a little bit of testing with them. So here is how much stamina you use if you are at level zero skill. Now here is that compared to spears because it's about the same amount as a single strike with a spear and if you take a look there's just a slight variation there. there's like literally one pixel thick of a uh, difference in how much you use bows are in purple and spears are the yellow spears is that yellow sliver that you see there so then i set my skill to 50 because i feel like 50 is a good amount it should be pretty easy for you to get 250 and stay around 50 in bows for the most part like it is doable to get to 100 but most people aren't going to get to 100 by the time they play through it I mean even if you play a really long time there's a chance that you're going to die because the longer you play the higher chance you have of dying which is going to reduce your skill so I did 50 and I took a screenshot and tried to time it the best I could and uh, this is this is it so this is how much stamina you will use if you release at the exact moment you hit full draw but the problem with that is is timing it's it's a pure timing issue because if you look here if you hold it for just a second longer you're constantly draining stamina the entire time that you're holding that so there's a lot of different variables here for bows so I don't feel like they can put in be put into the same class as the rest of the weapon due to the fact that the longer you hold the more stamina you use and then I mean if you want to use the least amount of stamina you basically want to let go the exact second you hit that full draw but just a moment too soon and you're not going to get the full power out of it a second over you're using more stamina so it varies a lot with bows however if you do max them out it's just a tap of the mouse button and you're instantly at full draw and you're instantly doing you know you're going to shoot as far as possible do max damage all that and that's pretty much it for this one so once again here's that image of the stamina usage for a single hit keep in mind that this plays into the combos as well so daggers being your least amount of stamina used followed by axes and swords spears the pole arm mace battle axe and last but not least the hammer all right i hope you all found this video helpful and informational if you did consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when i put out other valheim content
And I don't just cover Valheim, I cover all kinds of different games, so you never know when I'm going to be making guides for a game that you may be playing. I also stream all kinds of random stuff every Monday too, so that's a thing too. If you want to be notified when that's going to happen, make sure you hit the notification bell so YouTube will tell you when I'm streaming. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my Lee Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.